In 2007, when the continuation of their operation required the unavoidable taking of wetlands, Seneca Meadows chose to go beyond mitigation and make a difference in their community. The Seneca Meadows Wetlands Preserve is a vast conservation area comprising nearly 600 acres of diverse wetland communities and is the habitat for countless species of birds, animals, and amphibians. We decided to forego the standard 3 to 1 wetland mitigation ratio and instead dedicated over eight times the required acreage. A large area of high quality wetlands will benefit the local ecology far more than one with limited acreage. In addition to the preserve land, we dedicated another 500 acres of high quality wetland bringing the total conserved acreage to over 1,100 acres. The project is so large in scale it allows us to create everything we could dream of. The diverse ecosystem includes hundreds of species of plants and countless birds, insects, and mammals. The preserve features seven miles of hiking trails, open year-round, and is connected to a nature center that offers environmental programming to the community. Imagine spending a day following deer tracks in the snow, discovering the shy jack-in-the-pulpit in the spring, sitting at the edge of the woods listening to a symphony of summer birds, or laying on a grassy meadow in the fall, surrounded by trees with colorful foliage, watching a red-tailed hawk circle overhead. What's unique to our preserve is the vast section of created wetlands. Nearly 450 acres of the preserve have literally been built from the ground up and, as you can see, is already a thriving ecological community. The remaining 150 acres consisted of existing wooded wetlands that would require strategic enhancements to improve biodiversity. The enhancement effort seemed straightforward enough. Manage the vegetation by seeding and planting to create a healthier ecosystem and promote a greater diversity of wildlife. Along the woodland edge here you'll find early successional species such as ash trees, red maple, cottonwood, and cherry. These trees will move out into what used to be existing grassland and wetland and behind those it will follow oaks and hickories. We try to accelerate this process by planting these trees behind us. We have red maple, swamp white oak, and then in the understory we have silky dogwood and spice bush. Now some of these trees and shrubs were planted and seeded by us, but others were planted and seeded by Mother Nature. Existing woodlands are left in a natural state. If a tree falls down, we leave it for habitat. The wetlands creation portion of the project was a far more complicated process. The design called for a variety of wetland types, including emergent, wet prairie, wet mesic prairie, mesic forest, forested wetlands, and upland savanna. Each has specific grasses, flowers, and trees, and specific moisture requirements. For example, shagbark hickory, burr oak, and white oak thrive in the well-drained mesic prairie, while red maple and swamp white oak prefer the forested wetlands. Some types need more sunlight. Some need to be separated from other wetland types. Some need dense soils, and some need more sand. All wetland communities need to be free of non-native or invasive plants. Invasive shrubs such as buckthorn wreak havoc in a forested wetland area. They're vigorous growers and they outcompete and outshade native species, degrading the habitat. Eradicating buckthorn out of our forested wetland areas was the number one priority for us. We use herbicides to target invasive species such as reed canary grass to prevent them from spreading and outcompeting native species such as black-eyed susans, other sedges, and rushes. Sometimes we had to reshape the landscape to provide for the needs of different types of wetlands. Since the land was previously used as farm fields, it was relatively flat and embedded with drainage tiles to keep water from flooding the fields. But we wanted the moisture, so we disabled existing drain tiles and blocked ditches, built up berms in some areas, lowered the landscape in others, and dug ponds. We created riffle weirs to oxygenate streams and hold back water as needed. As we lowered some areas, we exposed glacial sand, deposited over 10,000 years ago, that provided dens for foxes. On one esker, their dens looked like Mother Nature's condominium village. 
There were some unexpected complications. We found evidence that the endangered Indiana bat was on site. And since they like to nest in trees, we couldn't remove any tree larger than five inches in diameter in certain areas. We actually redesigned the preserve to provide more roosting sites for this fragile creature. Once the earthwork was complete, we took on the most critical part of our project, the planting of nearly 200,000 wetland plants, including over 10,000 native trees and shrubs. We gathered seeds of native plants, such as spice bush and black-eyed Susan, to seed 450 acres, including the prairies and savannas. We encouraged emergent vegetation plants, such as Sparganium americanum, also known as burr reed, a reed-like plant which helps remove toxins from the water. It took thousands of hours, but the results are breathtaking. Lush wetlands of diverse beauty teeming with countless species of wildlife. Stroll along the marked trails, each a world of its own, to discover new adventure. On the trail you may hear a least bittern, a New York State threatened bird that is very rare, especially locally. Pause on one of our natural hickory benches to listen to a symphony of bird song. The melodic sparrow and thrushes, the call of the red-winged blackbird, the coo of the morning dove, the raucous blue jay, the whistling cardinal, the saucy chickadee, the high-pitched killdeer. Track the calls of the many species of ducks and wild geese as they fly overhead. Let your spirit soar with red-tailed hawks and osprey. If you're very still and very quiet, you might spot the elusive white-tailed deer, wild turkey, and red or gray fox as they go about their daily life. In the soft mud along the shore of the two large ponds we created, you'll see tracks of wild turkey, deer, raccoons, and other wildlife. Nature preserves require perpetual care. Since this property will be conserved forever, Seneca Meadows needed to find a permanent steward. The National Audubon Society was a perfect fit. Audubon's mission is to conserve and restore natural ecosystems, focusing on birds, other wildlife, and their habitats for the benefit of humanity and the Earth's biological diversity. Our commitment to conservation began over a hundred years ago and our goal is to continue that commitment while connecting people to nature. Once Seneca Meadows landfill is no longer in operation, Audubon will assume the care and management of this wetlands preserve, ensuring that this beautiful habitat retains its ecological vitality forever. It's exciting for me to think about future generations coming here 50 years from now and enjoying this beautiful ecosystem we've created. It's our privilege to welcome you here, to learn about nature and why conservation and a green lifestyle are so important. We want to help you to gain an appreciation of the rich tapestry of our native plants. We hope to share our love of this land with future generations so they will continue to conserve it forever. <laughs>